Hey what's up guys welcome back this is Ashok from Techie B and today we have another video for OnePlus 5 and now we have official version of Lineage OS 15.1 for OnePlus 5 and many other devices. So you guys can check out the description below whether your device supports Lineage OS 15.1 or not. In this video I'll be showing you the battery backup which I got it on the first cycle and what are the customization options available on official Lineage OS 15.1. This will be the first look of your ROM, long pressing home screen will take you to launcher setting and here you have lots of customization options like you can change the icon shape, notification dot can be enabled, predictive applications can be enabled from here. Now let's take a look on the software information about this ROM. So going to about phone, here you can see Android version 8.1, Lineage OS 15.1 with a security patch of 5th Feb 2018. So these are the software information about it and this ROM is pretty much smooth, I've been using it since the day it was released, that was yesterday and I've found it very stable for my device. Camera application has lots of features in this, going to options, here you have auto HDR, Portrait mode is also there but it is not working as of now. I am not sure why it is not working but once it gets fixed I will make a separate video sports mode. Many other options available like sharp photos, tracking autofocus and you also get pro mode. This ROM does not come pre-rooted you need to install Magisk Manager after flashing the ROM. It also has audio effects pre-installed on this ROM so if you want to use this application for music you can use the same application. Now going to the settings and we'll show you the customization options available in settings. Talking about quick settings there is no much of difference in the quick settings it's same like on official lineage OS. Few extra options what you get it under display and after that you have customization options under system. So before going to system let's go to display. As you can see here, you have adaptive brightness of night light can be scheduled to manual or automatic. Live display gives you options of color profile. Display mode can be changed from here. Color calibration options and you can also reduce the power consumption. Going to advance, here you have option to choose the system colors in which you get system style that can be changed to dark light, automatic according to the time and automatic according to the wallpaper. Ascent colors have many options here you can check them out and after that you have auto magic. If you apply settings over here this will change according to the wallpaper. Expanded desktop can also be found under display after that you have ambient display options which can be enabled or disabled from here. Tap to wake on the screen is also available if your screen is off you just have to tap on the screen to wake your device. After that tap to sleep on the status bar, you can just tap on the status bar to make your device go to sleep mode. Prevent accidental wake up is also working fine. So these are the options under display. Sounds does not have any extra options available. So now let's go to the system and here you can find few customization options available. Like here you can customize your buttons, you can enable on screen navigation bar if you would like to. You can customize the power button, home button can also be customized and you can use the volume buttons to wake the device, answer call, control music playback, control ringtone volume and you can also swap the volume buttons if your device is rotated. Under additional buttons you get option to swap buttons that is you can swap the back and recents button from here. You also have options to customize the notification slider. Under system profile you can choose the profile to automobile, default, silent and if you want you can also add the custom profile. Status bar gives you option to quick pull down. Network traffic monitor activity can be enabled or disabled from here. System icons, you can enable the status bar icons which you want to have it on the status bar and you can disable few of them which you don't want. Next you have brightness under which you have brightness slider, adjust brightness from the quick settings. So here you get an option of brightness slider which can be enabled or disabled from here. Auto brightness option is also there. After that you have brightness control. So you just have to tap here and you can control the brightness of the screen. If you want you can keep it in the middle or else if you want to increase complete brightness you can just slide it till the end. Then you also have few gestures available which is touch screen gestures and jump to camera. So the screen is power off you just have to press the power button twice to open up camera application. Touch screen gestures give you many options to have custom gestures available on your device. You can also enable haptic feedback. 
let's try one of the gestures which is draw the letter m to toggle torch first let's close the screen and draw letter m and as you can see the torch gets switched on and once you again draw m the torch should turn off then you have few basic options of date and time going to backup here you can choose your account and the contents which you want to backup after that you have reset options which gives you option to reset wi-fi mobile and bluetooth reset app preferences erase all data so guys these are the customization options available on this room so guys as of now this is one of the stable room which i have been using and it has become my daily driver and now let's take a look on the battery backup which i have got it so i have not charged my device here going to battery and here you can see screen usage time is 5 hours and 21 minutes with 6% of battery remaining so pretty good battery backup which i'm getting here talking about the benchmark results i have used geekbench application and n22 bench application going with geekbench application in this results were under single core it scored 1946 and under multi core it scored 6513 now going with n22 bench application in this results were 192255 Pretty good results with Lineage OS 15.1 which is an official version. So guys only these many things available on this ROM and talking about installation process you don't have to do anything much just you need to have TWRP recovery installed on your device and once you have you can check out the description below I'll mention the ROM file and the Google app package flash both of them using TWRP recovery and you can boot your device. So guys as of now only this much in this video hope you like the video if you like the video do give me a thumbs up and also if you are new to my channel do not forget to subscribe to the channel thanks for watching have a great day